हेलो स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज द नेक्स्ट पार्ट ऑफ द वीडियो ऑफ द लिविंग ऑर्गेनिजम्स एंड देयर सराउंडिंग इन अर्लियर वीडियो वी हैव डिस्कस द टॉपिक दैट इज हैबिटेट इन विच अ बायोटिक कंपोनेंट्स एंड बायोटिक कंपोनेंट्स वे देयर देन टाइप्स ऑफ हैबिटेट दैट इज टेरेस्ट्रियल हैबिटेट एंड एक्वेटिक हैबिटेट एंड नेक्स्ट इज कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ लिविंग ऑर्गेनिजम today we will discuss about aquatic habitat in this aquatic habitat the plants and animals which live and grow in water ponds ocean lakes we will discuss about that that type of living organism adaptation in plants some of these plants have roots which is fixed in the soil below the water as example of lotus you must have seen the roots are fixed to the soil and they are having long stem and the flowers and leaves are floating on the surface of water so roots are much reduced and some are having reduced roots their main function is to hold the plants in place like water hyacinth which is floating the stems are long hollow and light in lotus plant some aquatic plants stem grow up to the surface of water while the leaves and the flowers float on the surface of water some aquatic plants are totally submerged in water it is also known as underground plants and in this underground plants the leaves are often highly divided through which the water can easily flow without damaging the plants so these are the features of aquatic plants now adaptation in animals now in animals frog and fish adaptation we will discuss in frog we all know it is an amphibian it stays both on land and in water so it stay um, and move they have strong back legs that help them in hopping and catching the prey when they are on the land so they can jump and hop to catch their prey when they are in water they have webbed feet which help them to swim in water it breathes through skin in water and through lungs when they are on land they are having nictitating membrane to protect its eye in water instead of eyelid they are having a, a membrane type which are when they are in water they are closing it so that their eyes can be protected in the fish they are having streamlined shape so that they can move easily inside the water the fish has scales on their bodies which help them to protect itself and help in easy movement through water fish have flat fins and tails that help them to change direction and keep their body balanced again they are having gills which help them to take oxygen dissolved in water it has nictitating membrane to protect their eyes in water so these are the features of the aquatic animal which make them survive in the water now adaptation and the next word is acclimatization suppose you are going on a hill stay in to for to in holidays what happen when you go up in the hill one or two days you feel like uh, you are very tired getting tired and all that so your body are is not uh, taking that changes quickly it takes some time to adjust in that surrounding so the short the changes that takes place in the body of an organism over a short time period to adjust in the surrounding are called acclimatization thode samay ke liye jo body change karta hai body mein changes hota hai so that hum wahan pe jaake adapt kar sake that is known as acclimatization adaptation takes a long time to um, survive how to survive in that place and acclimatization for a short period of time changes are occurring that is known as acclimatization now characteristics of living organisms we all know um, anything which is having which are living uh, that that has mass and occupy space so all living and non living things have mass and they occupy space let us learn 
about the characteristics of living things which distinguish them from the non-living thing. So, what are the characters? The following characters distinguish them from non-living things. As all living things are made up of cells, they need food and nutrition, they grow, they respire, they respond to stimuli, they excrete, they move and they have a definite life span. Now, one by one, we will discuss all these things, characteristics. First, all living things are made up of cells. A building is made up of bricks, we all know. So, a brick is the unit of construction. Likewise, all living things are made up of tiny cells. Cell is the structural and functional unit of all living things. Some plants or animals consist of single cells. Okay, Some are made up of only one cell and they are known as unicellular organism like amoeba, paramecium, bacteria. They are just made up of one cell. So, they are known as unicellular organism. They are not visible through our naked eyes. They are, can on, only be seen through the help of microscope. So, they are also known as microscopic organisms. Now, most of the plants and animals we see around us are made up of millions of cells and they are called multicellular organisms. In multicellular organisms, the cells are not alike. Cells are of different sizes, shapes and they perform different functions. The second characteristic is they need food and nutrition. Now, can we live without food? No, we cannot. So, we need energy to perform various activities like running, reading, writing. We get this energy from food we eat. So, food is also required for the growth and repair process. The process of intake of food and its utilization by the organisms for their growth, movement and to survive is called nutrition. Nutrition is of two types, autotrophs and heterotrophs. What is autotroph? Which can make their own food like plants are known as autotrophs and the animals which are dependent on others, plants and animals are known as heterotrophs. Okay, now the third um, characteristic is living thing grow. Look at the, uh, around every plant, every human being or every animal are growing, increasing in their size. Okay, all living thing grow on their own. Growth is the actually an increase in size of the body. As when a tiny seed grows into a baby plant and after some time it grows into a big plant of a tree. So plants continue to grow throughout their life. Like that uh, from a small baby an adult is um, happening. So it is a continuous process that living things grow. Growth is an irreversible change found in living organisms in which the organism take food which we used to which we used in making cells and internal growth. Example, small animals grow into an adult and when seeds are sown in the, it germinates and grows into a plant. Now next characteristic is living thing respire. The process of inhaling and exhaling air is called breathing. Animals, all animals and plants are breathing. Animals breathe through their lungs and plants breathe through their stomata. So, respiration is the process of breakdown of food in the body of an organism with the help of oxygen to release carbon dioxide, water and energy. Carbon dioxide and water vapor are given out through exhalation. So, th this is the process of need of respiration. This is the importance of resp respiration. Now, living things reproduce. 
the process in which living organism give birth to young ones is known as reproduction like plant reproduce through the seeds or from other parts of the plant like stem or leaves which is also known as vegetative propagation then example is bryophyta reproduce through leaves plants also reproduce through buds as in potato then animal reproduce by laying eggs or by giving birth to their young one so all living things are reproducing to give their uh, young ones of their own kind next uh, characteristic is living thing respond to stimuli stimulus is any change in the surrounding of an organism to which it respond all living thing respond to stimuli like temperature touch light and smell by moving towards it or away from it the example is touch me not plant when you will touch the plant the, all the leaves will be closed and afterward it will open so uh, stimulus is any change in the surrounding of an organism to which it respond the next characteristic is living thing excrete so process of getting rid of water by the living organisms is known as excretion the waste material are harmful for the organism so it has to be thrown out of the body example from plants gums resins bark of trees and leaves are the um, waste part of the plant which are getting rid of by the uh, form of these all things in animal the waste materials like liquid waste like sweat urine are the liquid waste and fecus are thrown out by the body fecus is solid waste which is thrown out of the body so living things excrete the next example is uh, characteristic is living things move now all animals move from one place to another in search of food shelter and to escape from its predators plants also cannot move but it grows okay it can move only by the in uh, the leaves flowers and roots so all the living organisms are moving the next characteristic is living things have a definite life span the time period for which a living organism remain alive is called its life span all living things are having definite life span example bacteria the life span of bacteria is 15 to 20 minutes dog 16 to 18 years lion 20 to 25 years humans 65 to 80 years and banyan trees 200 years so this is the characteristics of living thing now the chapter is over and study nicely all of you till then bye thank you